Two years ago, I uh, spoke on this bill. Rather, I explained my position in the bill, and I think I made a mistake because I went over the two-minute limit, and the microphone was turned off for me. <laughs> so I'm not going to make the same mistake again. Much has been said in the last hour or so on what we're doing here this evening. A lot of good things have been said. I believe that the debate that or the conversation that is taking place in these chambers have a very good conversation. I've heard that if we are for this bill, that we are imposing on others who are against this bill. I've heard someone speak about and reminded us about the struggle of the great people in this nation who were denied their right to freedom and the pursuit of happiness, and that they suffer for some 500 years. You know, I'm a child of struggle. At the age of 72, I don't have to read a book or be lectured by anyone of what we went through when my mother brought me to this country. I can write a book too. Martin Luther King once said, we're not free until everyone is free. I believe Martin Luther King. I believe that the debate that took place in the last 100 years have not made this country a weak country. It has made this country a more powerful and respected country. You take, for example, that a few years ago, Adam Clayton Powell and I, we went to the island of Vieques, talked to me about civil rights. And he and I, we faced our own Navy. They were using that island to practice for 60 years and denying the rights of parents to raise their children in peace and tranquility and for a child to go to school without hearing the terrorism by the dropping of bombs. Adam Clayton Powell and I proudly because we were students of the civil rights struggle because we learned how to use the style, the methods of struggle of Martin Luther King. We went in a nonviolent way and we united as a people, and we came to this body. And if I never say thank you, let me at this moment say thank you to all of you because you supported us. And as he and I went to jail for 40 years, at the end of our struggle, our U.S. Navy peacefully left the island of Vieques. So don't lecture me about struggle. I know about struggle. You know, my colleague, at the beginning, said Richard Brodsky uh, sounded to me like a batch of honor, uh, like a, a batch of value, where he mentioned what O'Donnell is trying to do today, providing leadership of this. I'm not here to make history. We did that two years ago. When I made the mistake, got up and tried to speak for more than two minutes, and they shot, <laughs> turned off my microphone. We already did that. I'm here to talk about making history. We are here trying to provide leadership when other states are doing so. We follow leaders. We're following other states. We're not providing the leadership here. Let's get that straight. I don't mean to offend my colleagues here. You know? But you know, a profile in courage is what Richard Brasky said. And as I look around, I want to congratulate, commend everyone that is sitting on the chair this evening. Look around you, because I am. Look around you. I am proud to be here today. I am proud that I did not quietly and conveniently work out of this debate so that I can state my position. I, I am still here. Yes. Profile and courage, you all got to be congratulated. Whether you agree on this side or with each other or not, you are in your seat 
ready for a vote that still in the minds of some says it's historical. No, it's not historical. Again, I repeat myself, I am proud to remain here. I am proud to be here with such leaders from the Bronx like my colleague Jeffrey Dinowitz. I am proud to be here from such leaders from the Bronx like Michael Benedetto. Because I believe, I believe I should be angry at O'Donnell. You know, and if I were angry at him, I would vote against this bill. Why? Because two years ago, he put my name on the bill. <laughs> what, Puerto Rican did not apply? <laughs> I see O'Donnell, Godfrey, Glick, Peyton, Kellner, Silver, Ben, Rosenthal, Jeffrey, then it was my good friend, John Cavanaugh, there, there's, I can't pronounce that name, Puerto, my Puerto Rican accent. Tillman, <laughs> Hennessy, Hoyt, Sewa, Benedetto, and Edison. What about Rivera? <laughs> I gotta get up to include my name. Rivera is still with you, my friend. If you wanna do what I did on July 27th of 1968, I didn't plan it this way. Trust me, <laughs> that I signed a piece of paper with this young lady, all right? <laughs> And that's what you want to do. If you are Mr. Bantam, a time, you know, there's more, uh, there's more lovely, loving in a relationship than there is, you know, sadness or argument. Or, but if you want to join us, you know what I mean? <laughs> By a piece of paper, who am I to deny you the right? We're not making this country any less, but no. This is yours an unfinished business in this great nation as we continue a struggle to be inclusive. The hypocrisy of some people. You remember that? Inclusive. Let's include everybody in being happy. Let's include everybody if a time, you know, it happens in a marriage, you know, why not be so happy, you know? I, she, I think she had the time to try to throw the piece of paper in my face. <laughs> I'm glad she did. She has it. You know? well, that's what we're doing here. We're sending a clear message to the other side. It is your time to the Senate for you to stand up and provide the leadership. Either put up or shut up. That's what we're doing here tonight. We're providing leadership, whether you're on the one side or the other. And that's why I chose to get up and rather than explain my vote for two lousy minutes, <laughs> I thought, no, let me speak without my microphone being turned off. So I want to congratulate all of you because we're providing what, as we should, the leadership. And the reason why I chose to make my statement short is because we have a celebration to go to. I want to go to this celebration. I want to go to Banter and Mr. Banter and O'Donnell's celebration. I'm glad you invited me, my friend. I will be there. And to end it, today has been an exciting day. If you think for one money, money, here I go again, my Puerto Rican accent. Maybe I need a drink glass of water. If you think for one moment that this has not been an exciting day, you got my vote. <laughs> City Council is one of the best jobs in this country. <laughs> if you think that today has not been an exciting day, listen. There are those who visited my office selectively to find out how I'm on a boat and wanted to take a picture of me. I will not be intimidated. I don't care what clothes you wear. I don't care. I don't care what, 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 what book you want to quote from on me. You're not going to intimidate me or shake me down. I'm too old for that. I've been through a lot. So I had a decision to make on today. Either I make the most outspoken reverend from the Bronx against this issue, 
Oh, I made my chief of staff happy of me. I chose to make my chief of staff happy of me. So I encourage everyone to vote yes on this bill. Thank you very much.